So what is the inventory system in my game? Uh, it's pretty simple. You can click an item, hover over it, then it shows you information about that item. When you right click that item, you can see more information about what can you do with it, like eat it, equip it, whatever. You can also press any of the tabs above uh, to show only the kind of item you want to see right now. And of course the most important part that when you click item number one and item number two those items are being swapped with each other. So let's first talk about the global item list autoload that I use. Over here you can create new items and all the items in the game are being stored. So whenever you access an item from any place in the game you access an item over here. When there is a slot that we will talk about later all the slots access information about the items from here. So how are items created? Over here you can see a function uh, that creates items and it receives two strings. We can specify those if we want to create an item that is specific. Uh, if we leave it empty, it creates any item that is possible uh, to be made in the game. Then we open a JSON file that uh, stores all the information about all the items that are in the game and we create a new item class and send that information to that class. And then that item class receives all the information and saves it in a way that it can be read easily by the game. So for example if the UI type of the item is armor, it is saved as armor and it can be worn by the player in the armor slot. And if an item is uh, consumable, its information are being saved in a way that allow a player to eat it and it recovers specific statistics. The item slot class is the core element of the equipment system. It allows you to access the information about the item that is being stored in its item variable. So let's take a look inside of it. As you can see the item object is being stored in a variable that is a set. Every time an item a variable is changed from anywhere, the set function is called and in this case it updates the sprite. Over here you can see how the nodes are laid out. First we have a texture rect, then we have a texture button, that is where the script is and when the item sprite is being shown. Next we have color rects that, they, that are being used to highlight the item when you click and when you hover over it. And lastly we have an amount number that is being shown only when item can have an amount. The slot class is later inherited by three other classes and those are the player slot class, the inventory slot class and the container slot class. I won't be going into too much detail about those classes as that's not really important. What is important though is to know that in every one of those classes is the functionality uh, to click that item uh, and then it sends information uh, about the slot which has been clicked to the equipment class. You may want to move those functionalities to the slot class. I haven't because I want uh, to have a better control over each class. Okay, now let's talk about equipment class. Inside of that class we have a dictionary that holds information about all the slots in the game. So that is the player slot, the inventory slot and the container slot. But don't you worry, we are not storing every item in the game at the same moment in these slots. Uh, these slots are updated whenever you access an item in the game. So when you open something that has items inside, then these items are sent to the equipment class which then updates a container class slots which are shown on the screen. Whenever you click a slot in the game, that slot is being sent to the equipment class. 
whenever you click another slot while uh, the slot number one is also being pressed, then the items inside of the slots are being swapped with each other. Of course, it's not all that simple, because we have to take into account that not all items can be in all slots. So then we move to the next part. We, we have to check if an item in the slot number one can be placed in the slot number two. That's why we have this massive function over here that I hope you can understand uh, because I'm not gonna explain it, it all now, but I'm going to show it to you. The last important part that I want to mention is that whenever you swap an item with a player slot, then the information about that item is being sent to the player script, which can do with it whatever it wants, like odd health uh, or odd attack. Uh, and that's basically it. I hope you have a better understanding of inventory systems now and that you will be able to implement something like this in your game. And I will be seeing you next time, nerds.